Desert Dreams. Two teams, one goal, one bowl. The 2016 Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl matchup is official. The South Alabama Jaguars from the Sun Belt. Touchdown. Are set to battle the Air Force Falcons from the Mountain West. Intercepted again by Weston Steelhammer. Join us right now as we break down what it takes to be triumphant in Tucson at one of college football's most thrilling events. Do you believe it? That was the official bowl announcement from, from Cervezas in Tucson, Arizona, which is home of the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl. Hey, everyone, welcome. Where Shea are Cervezas? It's not snowing, that's true. It's snowing where we are, unfortunately, but not in Tucson, Arizona. We've got two teams, guys, that are going to face off against each other. We have got South Alabama out of the Sun Belt and Air Force out of the Mountain West. Let's get to know these two teams, starting with the Air Force Falcons, 9-3. and three. You can see what their offense and defense have done as of late. Well, you know what their Air Force Falcons are going to do? They're going to run, run, run some more. Uh, their triple option offense has been devastating. The defense has stepped it over the second half of the season. Quarterback Aaron Worthen Worthman has been tremendous at leading this attack. Now, you, again, you know it's coming. You just don't know if he can hit the fastball or not. He's been phenomenal over the second half of the season. Yeah, he's played in seven games, started the last four. He is the leader of this offense. But we know what else leads this offense. That would be the run game, you guys. is led by a stable of backs. We've got Jacoby Owens, Tim McVay, and DJ Johnson. Yeah, I just don't know how you prepare for a triple option. You can do anything you want in this time off before the matchup, but once it hits you in the mouth, Jacoby Owens is the go-to guy. He's the workhorse. Tim McVay finds the end zone. He's also the playmaker that can blow it open and really get that offense going. I think Air Force, this is where the clear advantage is, is that triple option. Okay, and then defensively, you've got Weston Steelhammer. I think the best name, guys, in college football, and the he's defensive back. He's awesome. He's been great for the last few years. Been the tone-setting safety for this defense. Makes plays all over the field. He's been a pickoff machine. He's been an All-Mountain West superstar for the last several years. Another leader of this Falcons D is defensive back Brody Hicks, who joins us now via Skype. And Brody, your squad has gone nine and three this season. How happy with you were the way your regular season ended up? Uh, it was it was something great. Uh, being able to get nine wins is not an easy task for for any team. And you know the the competition that we face in the Mountain West, getting a win at home and on the road is it's a, it's a trial every single week. So the way the season ended, we were very pleased. Good. Well, on the other side of the ball, Arian Worthman has started the last four games at quarterback. What has he brought to the offense since taking over that you've seen? I mean, he brings his his own sort of his swag and energy, and I think the whole offense just kind of feeds off of it. Uh, being a sophomore, he had to step into a big leadership position at quarterback, especially. He's got to make all these checks. He's got to get everyone in the right spot. But the whole offense has been supportive of him. Uh, and he's, he's really shined these past four games. He's a special player for sure. Finally, Brody, I know you haven't had a lot of time to look at your opponent in South Alabama, but fill in the blank for me here. Air Force will win the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl if? Uh, we keep all our preparation the same, keep the, the atmosphere as just another game, and go out and execute all, all our options and all our assignments. All right, we're looking forward to it. Brody Hicks, thanks so much for the time. Thanks, Shay, for having me. He talked about making it uh, atmosphere like every single game. I did an Air Force game this year, and the pageantry that they have and the fan base and everything else is like no other. So hopefully and we know that's... you love being front and center, so you probably love it. <laughs> hopefully it's the same atmosphere game. at the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl. Let's get to know South Alabama out of the Sun Belt, guys. Here's what they look like. Their record is 6-6. Six and six. Their offense is 73rd in FBS, but they average just under – around 400 yards per game, and then you see their defense up there as well. What do you think about the Jaguars? Well, the kid, Jaguars, Wars, that one. <laughs> the, the kid, Dallas Davis, to start with. Their quarterback, he got to limit the interception. He's been on over the second half of the season, came on late, but again, the picks have got to be kept to a minimum against this Air Force defense. Okay. NFL talent on this team, no question. Yeah, for sure. Sticking with the offense here, Gerald Everett is their 
Leading receiver, he is the tight end. Jordan, what do you think about him? Well, you heard me talk about NFL talent. People talk about Jake Butt. They talk about Evan Ingram. They talk about O.J. Howard. They need to talk about this guy. <laughs> South Alabama goes out there and beats Mississippi State. This guy, nearly 100 receiving yards in that game and a touchdown. Also played well in that win versus San Diego State. He's a big-time playmaker. The transfer from UAB gets you're, things done. You're turning a draft guru now going, John Drew is this guy. I like that. <laughs> On the defensive side, you've got Randy Allen, guys. 64 total and tackles. 11 and a half sacks. Yeah, he's probably the key to this game because to stop Air Force, you got to get to the backfield early and often. you got to stop the option before it starts, and that's where Allen comes in. So South Alabama heading to their second ever bowl game in program history. Let's catch up with their head coach, Joey Jones. And coach, it has been a roller coaster season for your team. How would you grade your regular season? Well, you know, I think a lot of good things happen um, on the positive side. We beat an SEC team in Mississippi State, um, which is huge for our program. We beat a top uh, 25 team with San Diego State. And, of course, they're, they're the Mountain West champions, beat them earlier in the year. Um, you know, and we're going to a bowl game for the second time in four years, uh, which is faster than any new program has ever done it. So, you know, there's a lot of good things there. We lost some close uh, conference games. You know, we lost an overtime game to ULM, and um, we lost a uh, you know tough game to Troy, which Troy ended up nine and three, uh, lost to them by seven points. So we pretty much been in every game, um, but uh, it had some really good things happen. So I, I'm. I'm as a coach, you always you know want to want to win them all. But uh, overall, from the standpoint of looking where our program is at this point, fourth year Division One, uh, I'm pretty excited about what happened. And you get another game, right? But unfortunately, coach, you have lost ten players, including seven starters, to season-ending injuries since the spring. What does it say about your team that here they are playing in the postseason? Well, that's what I'm excited about. We get, we have a lot of character on this football team. And our senior class is really taking the lead on that. And, um, you know, they, they've, they've pulled together. There's been a lot of games. We could have, uh, you know, folded our tent, so to speak, and uh, didn't do that. And so they're the kind of guys that uh, they are leading this team in a good good direction. So when you have that, you can kind of overcome some of the maybe lack of depth you have at, at each position. Finally, Coach, I know you haven't had a lot of time to look at your opponent in Air Force, but for your squad, fill in the blank for me here. South Alabama will win the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl if? <laughs> well, number one thing, stop the run. <laughs> They're going to run the football. We know that. Uh, and I know uh, two or three of their coaches, great guys. They really understand the game. Uh, they, they obviously run a triple option. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be a task for us to be able to stop that. But we do have, you know, 12 to 15 days of practice to get ready for that, which is it's fortunate, not a, not a one-week deal when you're practicing three days. So um, we're looking forward to playing those guys and uh, very well coached team. A lot of respect for their players and their staff. We're looking forward to it as well. Coach Jones, thanks so much for the time. Okay, thank you. Coach Jones mentioned the rest. They got some time to prepare for this game. You Let's start it. with South Alabama here. If you take, give me the X factor when they're facing the Falcons. Well, he mentioned it. You got to be able to stop the running game, and that's where the 15 practices are going to come in. But also, you got to stop the Air Force passing attack. Now, they're not going to wing it all over the yards, but what they do is they hit the home run every once in a while because everyone's cheating up to stop that ground game. Jalen Robinette and that Air Force passing game, Again, it's not going to go crazy, but one or two times you hit those home runs, it breaks everything wide open. A few, you nailed it. Those 15 practices. Look, if you have to prepare for Air Force coming off one game and you have three, four practices before you play them the next week, it's a different story. South Alabama has the luxury of easing yep. their way into this. You get to dive, you get to digest a ton of game film and get in there and practice, so they will be fully prepared for what they're going right, to see. Not to put it on you, Joey Jones, but they always call these games against Georgia Tech, Navy, Air Force. These are the coaching games. If your team can't figure out how to stop it in 15 practices, that's on you. Okay, let's flip wow, it now. Let's go to Air Force. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Jones, let's go. Seriously, come better on, be ready. Better be ready to go. Uh, let's flip it. Let's talk about Air Force, guys. What's the X factor for the Falcons? Jalen Robinette, let's go on the flip side of this. You know they're going to try to run the ball. It's what they do. But if you can hit Robinette deep just a couple times, again, this is what opens up everything. He has the talent to be a star. He's just in the wrong offense for a guy with his talents. He would be a 50-catch guy if he was on a passing, a real passing attack. But for this, he can block, he can hit, he can get physical, and he can go up and get it, throw it up a couple times deep, stretch things out, let that let those safeties get off the line, and then everything else should work for that running game. You know, I like this guy. He's a lot of flash. He likes the big play. He doesn't like the, the move the chains, little eight-yard reception. No, hit, though. He likes He'll to hit. go vertical. The nation's leader in yards per catch. He's fun to watch. 
Well, this will be a one-of-a-kind experience that you can watch on CampusInsiders.com. Here's what to expect of the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl. The second Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl will be bigger and better on Campus Insiders. This year, you can see the action from additional camera angles, including a cable cam and a ref cam. We'll also have more microphones on the field so you at home can feel like you're part of the action. And you can enjoy exclusive behind-the-scenes video from both teams. Plus, for your viewing pleasure, a one-of-a-kind 3D reality view of the game. It's all on Campus Insiders, the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl on December 30th. We now bring in Mountain West Commissioner Craig Thompson. And Commissioner, as the commissioner of this Mountain West Conference, you've been highly involved with the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl. How would you describe the experience of working with this bowl game and how far it's come in only its second year? Well, we've started several bowls in our history, Shay, but to pull one off in a, in a literally less than three month period last fall was fantastic. I think it was a great inaugural game uh, with Colorado State and Nevada, and we're looking for a tremendous matchup this year. But the people in Tucson have been fabulous. You are, are great partners at Campus Insiders. You know, it's been uh, light years to get the bowl off the ground, up and running in a very, very short period of time. And it's going to be a real destination for our league. I agree. Well, this year, the Mountain West representative will be Air Force. What do you believe the Falcons will bring to this game? Uh, they bring a lot of pageantry. You know, they're one of three service academies. Uh, they're a national, if not international brand, hot. Uh, I think they've won five straight games. And they're going to have a really good opponent in a, in a South Alabama team to beat uh, our champion, San Diego State, as well as Mississippi State. So it'll be a great game. It uh, could be a lot of points. It's going to be fun. And, and the tradition and pageantry that Air Force brings, I know they'll be very excited in Tucson. Yeah, I did one of their games this year. I agree. The pageantry is unmatchable. Looking forward to more Mountain West football. Commissioner, thanks so much for the time. Thanks, Shay. All right, guys, so the matchup is set. We've got South Alabama and Air Force. It's our favorite time. We're going to get to some predictions. What do you got? You. you have to watch the game because it's on campus inside. So I'm going to tell you how, what's going to happen anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna, sorry to ruin the surprise. Sorry to ruin the ending, but Air Force is going to get it done. That defense is going to be terrific. South Alabama's D is going to show up. That secondary is going to clamp down on Robinette. I do believe and I do think that their defense is going to make this interesting. But the option just is going to wear them down as the game goes on. Air Force wins the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl. Watch it anyway. Yeah, I think South Alabama's so keyed in on the triple option. Like you said, the home run play to Robinette will be the difference time and time again throughout this. And I think he has a monster game. Air Force gets it done, and yes, I love that defense. In the secondary, Weston Steelhammer, one of the nation's best safeties. Be you got to love the name, and you got to love the Dallas game. Davis gets picked off. Watch out. Uh, I did win the pick segment this season on CampusInsiders.com. That's not even necessary so to the show. Let's just take what they say for a grain of salt. I can't make my pick because I'm going to be commenting on this Yeah, game. you can. I can't because I'm part of the broadcast. Let's All right, whisper it in a few zero. We won't tell no, anybody. No, I'm not going to do that. You'll just take have the to wait and see. You guys just got to watch <laughs> on CampusInsiders.com. Thank you guys very much for your time today on the show. You can watch the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl Friday, December 30th. It's 5.30 p.m. Eastern is when our coverage begins from Arizona Stadium in Tucson, Arizona only. Jim On Blossoms campus, are going to be there too, right? Insiders.com, they will be for the pregame. It'll be here's exciting. Some we'll See you guys later. To the pylon, he dives and he is in. Everett, the tight end, he gets a block, hurdles his own man. He's into Bulldog territory. Pass is intercepted. Here's the return. Patrick Healy moves past Virgil. Touchdown, Williams. Throws on the run, and that one is batted away. They got Robinette out there, and he's going to take this to the end zone. First time they get him the football, 75 yards, touchdown Air Force.